Hey guys, what's up? Uh, you are watching Color Me Queer, and it is not Saturday. No, it's not. At least for me. I know, I epic fail, but, uh, it's actually Thursday for me. You you guys will see this on Saturday, but I've, I'm giving myself two days to edit this because I just got a new movie maker on my computer, and I still don't really get it. So, I'm gonna need some time to, like, mess around with it. Um, this week's topic is PDA and our type. Um, first of all, PDA, um, I don't mind a little bit, um, and that goes for straight and gay couples, you know, um, holding hands, go for it, that's good. Um, kiss here and there, yeah, you know, that's alright. You know, that's cute. Um, making out in, uh, that park bench or making out in the swimming pool, which I have seen before. I have. Not okay. Touching, uh, the breasticles or the jugular area? Not good. No. That, that doesn't fly with me. Um, I'm pretty much like everybody else, uh, on this collab channel where... To a certain extent, I don't mind PDA, and I do do PDA, but not like making out on the park bench, or pretty much having sex like some of the girls do in the girls' bathroom at my school. Yeah, it's happened before. So, that's me on PDA. Um, for my type, um, if I'm with a, a chick, I'm, I normally play the masculine role in the relationship. So yeah, pretty much I'm the dude in the relationship. Um, I'm always the gentleman type. Um, and I tend to go for more, uh, feminine girls, um. I wouldn't, you know, mind dating, like, a butch or a footch, um, but I tend to go for feminine girls, um, some celebrity crushes I have, um, Amy Lee from Evanescence, she's really hot, I shall put a picture right there, um, and also, um, Alyssa White Glutz from The Agonist. It's a Canadian metal band. Like, you can't get any better than that. I mean, Canadians, pretty rad. She's a screamer and a singer, which is awesome. And she's extremely hot. Again, picture right there. Um, I really, I don't like really skinny girls. Like, if you're underweight, I really don't find that very attractive. Um, I want something to hold on to, and I like my women how I like my roads, which is curvy. So, um, I don't tend to go for blondes. I would date a blonde, but um, I tend to go for darker hair. Um, pretty eyes are important. I love eyes. Um, I guess I don't really care what color. Um, right now I love blue, but that's because my fiance has blue eyes and they're like fucking amazing. So, um, let's see. I like girls shorter than me, and again, that's the, kind of the masculine role I play. Um, Let's see, I love piercings and tattoos, um, and that goes for boys and girls, um, hmm, I don't know, and then for guys, they have to be taller than me, they have to be kind of like the alternative, you know, with uh, piercings and, um, kind of a 
indie style, and, um, let's see, I like artists, like, whether it's music, um, dance, visual arts, acting, um, you know, just, so they're creative, and artists, like, obviously think deeper, and I want somebody who, like, has things to say, um, not necessarily, like, book smart or anything, but, like, has opinions, um, hmm, other things. For guys, like, I wouldn't say I like muscles, but, like, I kinda like them in shape, but not, like, too, like, buff in shape, like, bodybuilder, where you get all those really gross veins and stuff, because that's not okay, that's really gross, um, hmm, I have to say that, like, if I wasn't in a committed relationship, I wouldn't want to date, um, a cisgendered male until they're, like, 40, because guys don't mature, really, for a long, long, long time, um, before, well, London was the first person I ever dated, um, we dated for about six months, um, before, and then we broke up. Um, and I dated a guy, a cisgendered guy, and he was really sweet and everything, but, um, he just, like, had a lot of mental issues, and he's not really mature. Like, I'm not talking about, like, you know, he says immature things or anything, but the way he acts sometimes, um, I don't know, it's really hard to explain, but, um, uh, and, like, with trans guys, like, the, that's the only guy, I wouldn't say type of guy, but, you know, that's the only guy I would date right now if I was single, um, because, obviously, them being trans, they've been through shit in their lives that, like, has, uh, in most cases made them mature more, and, you know, they obviously know what it's like to be in the queer community, um, and stuff like that, so, um, I guess that's it, yeah, that's it, okay, so, I will talk to you guys next week, um, and if you haven't already, subscribe, bye guys! Just a sunbathing puppy. Hi, dog. I love you. Do something interesting. Poopy. You're no fun. I love you, dog. Don't you love me? Grrr. Roar. Aw. Say bye, dog. I just love you.